put blinders on you when he gave them to you? You know exactly what you got. Amen. Exactly what you got. Amen. And what I say to you parents, I want you to know this. I see nothing but success stories right here. Amen. Amen. That's all I see. I see success stories. I'm going to pray over our successful kids. Amen. Kids, hear me. You got to get this part in your mind right now. You got to see you as being successful. That's how you got to see yourself. Don't, don't try to see yourself the way others see you. Let others see you the way you see you. Amen. That's important. If you try to see yourself the way everybody else sees you, you will always be changing. Because see, this person see you like this, okay, I'm going to change this over here. Then that person see you like that, okay, I'm going to change this over here. But if you want them to see you how you see yourself, don't you change. Amen. 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 What you see is what you get. That's it. The reason Pastor Phelps get along with so many people, because I don't ever change. What you see, this is it. If you don't really like it, that's good too, because I'm kind of I'm kind of fond of myself. <laughs> that's it. I'm going to just be real with you. Hello, somebody. I'm kind of fond of who I am. Amen? Amen. If I'm a little too big for you, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but you'll get over it. Amen. Because this is it. Amen? Amen? Are you hearing me? So don't you try to change. You try to impress folk. You know, people try to change just to be impressive to people. They try to lose weight, try to gain weight, try to do this, try to color your hair one way, try to color another way. Watch this. Try to put on tattoos just to look like everybody else. I just figured I'd stay there for a quick minute. Y'all can mind, did it? You ain't never wanted a tattoo before you saw somebody else one. Now you want it. Quit trying to be like everybody else. Amen. Can you just be yourself? Amen. I mean, you saw two or three people with an earring in the ear. Oh, can I get an earring in my ear? Brothers, come on. You ain't never worn one before. Talk somebody put one in your nose. Can I get one in my nose? <laughs> Talk somebody one on the tongue. Can I get one on my tongue? Come on now. <laughs> Don't act like I'm not saying nothing real. Amen. You do things and have a reason for doing it. Amen. Have a purpose behind what we do. Amen. Have a purpose behind what we do. Y'all don't mind if I talk to you for a minute? What? What I need you all to understand is when you go to school, listen, some of you all in here have been ordained to be leaders. You hear what I said? You've been ordained to be leaders. So quit trying to follow because you'll never be comfortable in that role. Amen. Did you get all of that? Don't, be, don't, don't, don't always try to follow because you won't be comfortable there. Amen. You know why? Because you weren't ordained to be a follower. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You, you see me standing here? Everywhere I go, I've been a leader. Just been ordained to be that way. Hmm. I went in the military. You see, I got a military book. Everybody thanking me for being there. I, when I was there, I was a leader in the military. When I got in the union, I was a leader in the union. When I got here, I was a leader over here. Just always been that way because it's just been on my life. Amen. And the same way it's on my life is on some of you all lives standing right here right now. The reason you're not comfortable in the role you're in, you're in the wrong role. Amen. You're not called to be a follower. Amen. That's some people waiting on you to leave. But when you leave, make sure you know how to leave. Yes. Make sure you got something going on. Amen. And you're right with that? Are you right with that? I said from this end down here, Chris, put your sister down here. Change place with your sister. I said from this end down here to this end over here. Y'all about the same grade, right? Y'all about the same grade? Y'all have trouble talking? Y'all about the same grade? Yes. Yes, okay. From this, from this end here to this end here. And everything in the middle, I see nothing but success. Amen. Amen. You look like a success story. You believe you won? I'm sorry? You, are you sure? Man, you sound a little shaky. You sure? <laughs> I'm just bothering you. You know that, right? <laughs> I do that. Yes, I do. What about you? Amen. Guess what? Says who? Okay, you said not in front of me. But don't, don't have them covered up. <laughs> Get around everybody else. Well, not today. <laughs> don't change them. Amen. Amen. Don't change them. They try. Success story. Success story. Yes. Success story. Success story. Yes. Success story. Yes. Success story? Yes, sir. Success story? What? Success story? Your success story? Yes. So I don't know about that. <laughs> huh? Success story? You sure. What makes you sure? Because you make yourself sure? Okay. You success story? You sure. Okay. Okay. Bow your heads with me. pray. Father God, now in the name of Jesus, 
as I lay my hand on each one of our young people right now. As I lay my hand on each one of our young people right now. The same as the apostles would have laid their hands on those when they were waiting to receive the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Right now, I impart success on their lives. Success on their lives. There is nothing so great that will come before them that they cannot handle. In the name of Jesus. Even when it comes to difficult decisions, Lord God, you put the wisdom on the inside of them to make the quality decisions. In the name of Jesus. We take authority now over every force, over every spirit, over every, every spirit right now. Every form of pressure that would try to come against them, whether it be to take tests or whether it be to try to fit in, we take authority over that pressure right now. We say your spirit be broken from over their lives. They will not be turned, will not be governed by your pressure. In the name of Jesus, I decree that this year they're going to be pressure free. I decree that this year they're going to do exceptionally well. In everything they put their hand to, it shall be blessed.